still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, go, go Stack Nation, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Brazen. And your boy Double O. Double O. Yes, sir. You know what happened two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. I can't remember two weeks ago. Um, I was, I, I, I um, had set up a schedule to join this. Well, maybe it was more than two weeks ago. But I was scheduled to join a, a, a class on Meetup. Okay. I was studying yeah, Mandarin. Yeah, Bitcoin, uh, a Bitcoin community class. Yeah. Yeah, no, there was the Bitcoin community one. Then there was okay. the uh, there was the one about uh, speech, right? Yeah, and yeah, public yeah, speaking. yeah, yeah, yeah. Public and then there speaking. was another one of, on for Mandarin. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I've been trying to I've been trying to learn some Mandarin. You know what I'm saying? Just in case. And then, um, but what happened was during, uh, for that Mandarin class, when I showed up, I was actually in a Japanese class. So I actually signed up for a wrong class, right? <laughs> and so I get in there. And these people are like talking and I'm like, yo, why can I not understand any of this anymore? You know, like this is insane. So anyway, I just played along. I was like, yeah, you know, I was here for the Japanese class. I'm just trying to learn. And I hung out and I was speaking to people there. It was pretty cool. Anyway, not that that has anything to do with what I'm about to talk about right now, but you know, we're talking about Japan. So I, that just reminded me of that story there. Right? Japan. Japan. <laughs> Japanese. Uh, Japan. So, uh, it turns out that Japan's largest Bitcoin Lightning community is partnering with a top Tokyo real estate firm, right? And the goal here is they're trying to research, right? So they're partnering with one of the largest uh, real estate firms and the goal is to do a uh, Lightning transaction research project, right? If you will. So the article says here, the largest lightning community in Japan, Diamond Hands, I like that name by the way, <laughs> Wonderful, right? is partnering with one of the largest real estate firms, Open House Group in Tokyo, for a joint research project. Open House will research leveraging the Bitcoin Lightning Network for real estate transactions in the region. The real estate the company will also look to build out infrastructure practices for businesses in the area looking to adopt the lightning network. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Before you continue, yeah. what's our mission again? Hey, man, to... What, oh, dude, 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 give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hey. To motivate, educate, and inspire one another through shared knowledge and success. And we are a okay. digital asset service and provider. Yes, as, of course. We're also, bro, that's, that's number one. Stack, we are a digital asset provider. That's stamped on the door, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that is what we are. That's what we do. We That's provide services in this digital space, man. Whether it's education, entertainment, and whatever else you want. Everything in between. What else yes, do sir. we do? Right? So, this is what it's all about, man. And I think everything that we've been talking about and the ideas that we're trying to build on is around this. The new financial system. The new monetary system. Look, here's the thing. Um, a lot of times when you talk to people... Yeah, and, and this is especially for the beginners, okay? When you talk to a lot of people, they usually go to say something like, you know, well, Bitcoin is slow, right? The uh, transaction fees are very high and blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is you that they You can't use it for anything. You just buy exactly. it and holding it. Exactly. I mean, whatever they've heard from somewhere else, right? But it's 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 ridiculous. And this is why I was saying people are lazy in that last video. Because they're listening to media, you know, they're listening to national media, you know. True, true. They're listening to national media, which they all agree that is lying to them. So <laughs> really, who's the, so really, who's stupid now? <laughs> who's that for because, now? <laughs> because if you ask anyone, they'll go, oh, the news is, the news is, is, is rubbish, man. These guys are lying. But then when they try to argue with you on something, they bring up points from the same source that they have been spending all their time discrediting. What did they do when the news flips on them and tell them the opposite side of it? <laughs> hey, you know, the, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like, uh, you re remember we're running a, uh, we're running a, obviously we, we have a massive group uh, that we, yeah. we, we give uh, just yeah, market also, knowledge. We share yeah. market knowledge with and things like that. Yeah. And uh, there's multiple people, a couple people where when things are moving up, Right, who knows is that we're like, hey, this is great. This is a great buy. You know, everything else. Everyone is like, oh yeah, absolutely. We're going for it. We're going for it, right? Mm -hmm. And there is this one person um, that I was telling him like, hey, I'm selling my Ethereum. 
And they were like, oh, no, why are you selling your Ethereum? It's going to keep going up. I was like, yeah, I think this is going to pull back. I'm, I'm going to sell it. And he's like, no, I don't think it's going to pull back. Man. I think it's going to go up. I'm buying more. And at that moment, I was thinking to myself, how come you were listening to me when I said it was going up? But now that it's going down, you don't, you don't think my information is, is credible anymore. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. That person is in a loss on Ethereum right now massively. I don't have any Ethereum. So yeah. Yeah. it is what it is. <laughs> right? But here's the bottom line, man. Um, Bitcoin is absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's definitely delivering on so many crazy things. And then now we have the Lightning Network, which is the layer two solution, right? Which brings you want, us you, scalability. You want, you want, exactly. Do I want to? Do I want to? Do I want to? I know what you're about to say. Uh-huh. You're going to people what layer two Lightning down Network is. Go ahead, no. bro. Break it. Listen, man. Break it down for the people. Go ahead, right. go, wait, wait, wait. Wrong, wrong button. Is that the right one? Oh, it's not working. Sorry. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> I gotta fix my buttons, man. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anytime you hear anytime you hear lightning network, and I think you just made the per- the perfect one word synonym, scalability, yeah. utility, mm. right? When Bitcoin was designed to be this peer to peer replacement of money, really, digital money. Right. But then when you want money to be what money does, money has to be tangible in a way scalable yeah. um that's a long list of what money can be right yeah man. and has to be bitcoin needs value. to be able to accomplish all of that and this is where the lightning network comes into play right. there are other projects that are aiming to do that but right now lightning network is the most popular one which is doing a wonderful job at it so the yeah. transaction of money at a very fast pace you know with your privacy and security in place the mm-hmm. the, 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 the 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 lightning network does that but now, which is what you and I have been talking about, is that we need mm. more functionalities so that mm. Ethereum is not out there rock pulling folks saying that they can mm. do all this other stuff. Whereas we all know that Ethereum stole this ideology from Bitcoin. So we yeah. now need to now take Bitcoin to its full maximum potential through the Lightning Network, which is what I see here in real estate. Mm. And you want to talk about the biggest markets outside of oil? Right. It's real estate, real estate. land, real estate. property. And if Absolutely. you've ever bought a house, the process of buying a house is not energy efficient. We want to talk about energy. We just did a video <laughs> about energy. The process yeah. of buying a house is not like, you know, the amount of paper you got to print. Oh, anyway, yeah. let's cut that short. The it's financial a- transaction fees, the agreements that you got to sign. Now, imagine mm. putting all of that into the, night, into the Lightning Network, putting some smart contracts around it. Mm, Boom. Perfect. Done. This is Done. major Bitcoin adoption news right here. Absolutely. Look, and I think this is only going to, because when something like this happens, especially when it comes to fruition and it starts working, mm-hmm. right? All of, look, Bitcoin is very new, man. All of this yeah. stuff. Still a baby. It, it, it bothers it's me a little bit. but a baby at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's like a baby when it comes to, <laughs> to finances, right? And when, when, when I speak to people and they try to compare Bitcoin to all these other crazy things, I'm like, dude, mm. this thing has only been here for like a couple of years, okay? And people have not even been paying that much attention to it. Yep. Everything that is working the way it's working right now is it's that way because of years and years of refining of refinement mm-hmm. and improvements, right? You have to mm-hmm. continuously iterate. When so, for example, when I say <clears throat> uh, when we talk about moving coins to wallet, and people are just like uh, not trying to, you know, like, well, you have to copy addresses and paste it, and it's it's complicated. But I'm like, well, you use Cash App, it's the same thing, mm-hmm. right? You use Zelle, it's the same thing, mm-hmm. all right? And and for people to be complaining dude literally today on twitter okay yeah uh, i can even find that, that comment somewhere and show you there's this one guy was complaining about copying and pasting addresses and i'm like what sort of laziness is that well for for the conv- it, you will not copy and paste your address to secure your own funds there you go it goes back to the to the the mindset of there's public key and private key the reason why you only copy and paste your public key is to ensure that nobody touches your private key, which the current banking system, if you want to talk about the the financial way, they yeah. have you, your public, your private, they have everything about you. And that's why once the bank gets asked, your money is gone, it's gone. That's it's why gone. you have the FDIC insurance to help get your money back, you know. But in the Bitcoin space or in the crypto space, your private yeah. key is secure, secure. It's meant to be secure. All it's you need to you. do is share your public key. When yeah. you do that, that's when you do the copy and paste. Because that means you release your information when well, you want to release but, your information. But, but, but right? here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me give some more context here, okay? Because 
this guy is talking. We're talking about copying your address from the exchanges mm -hmm. or copying your address from, I don't know, an external wallet, self custody yep. wallet, yep. and pasting it on the exchange to move your coins off the exchange. Yep. Especially at the time when exchanges are looking very shady right now. Uh, you know, that's it's like. That little video in itself. Yeah, it does. Sessions, itself, but BlockFi, everybody's stopping but, but, people from moving money right now. But if someone is losing their money in that situation because they're being lazy to copy and paste your address, what mm -hmm. do you say to someone like that? You know? But, you know, either way, back on topic, man, this Lightning Network situation here, I think that yeah. when uh, we get to this point where, which I think this is going to work, by the way, because the way uh, the channels on the Lightning Network are working, <clears throat> It's amazing, very simple, very direct, uh, really simplifies the transaction process, right? I'm studying it as well, you know, and I think in the future uh, for other business endeavors that we're going to engage in, I'm 100% looking forward to implementing this kind of thing in our mm -hmm. business strategy, right? Yeah. Um, and especially when we're running a note, when you can use something like BitPay, right? Mm -hmm. Collecting payments from your own note, which is essentially running your own server, now you're fully your own bank. Um, it, it, and all the small businesses to come on board. Exactly. So I would I would ask the general public and for anyone you know watching right now, why is it that you trust the traditional banking system more than yourself? Well, I would. You know, even you have to think that. about. No, I don't. The, the, no, the, it's, not, it's not for you. But like, you have because <laughs> you really have to think about. You really have to think about what someone has to do to you. Right, because you remember what what are, what is when, you, when the, we've read all these books on psychology, right? One of the ways yep. to control people is through fear, fear and doubt. Mm -hmm. When you can have someone be afraid or doubt themselves, now you have full control of them because now you have that ability to make yourself look like the expert. Okay, um, can I be can I can I be Professor P Professor Double O real quick? Go ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So the traditional banking systems. Yeah. At their early ages, their early stages, right? Right. Just like we have the ongoing bank run on crypto and Bitcoin right now. That's well, the bank run cannot happen because they're frozen everything. <laughs> exactly. That, that's yeah, good. but go but, ahead. You know, I get you. It goes you. back I get to, you. Go to, 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 to the early adoption. We are way early yeah. adopters of Bitcoin than most of everybody out there. Right. But when you go to early banking, right, the same thing that Bitcoin and crypto is going through right now happened mm -hmm. in those days as well. You just got to go and dig into history. Banking has been around for a while. It's just that it's getting older and inefficient in this yeah. global digital world that we live in now. Yeah. And blockchains like Bitcoin is going to make it make make money and banking catch up to what mm. it should be in this digital space that we're in. Which is why what you see now in Bitcoin is basically it's it's a baby, it's young, early days, you know. Right. Even though it's the first of them all. Um it, you have to go through that incremental development press yeah. phases. Yeah. But the banks should, instead of fight it, adopt it so they can be a lot more efficient, more energy efficient, mm -hmm. much faster, much secure. That's what blockchains like Bitcoin is going to do for them. So yeah, you want to trust the banking, but the banking system is old. It's not up to date. That's yeah. why you have blockchains like Bitcoin. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> you know... Um, Look, man, the traditional so, yeah. system is, is known for their for their continuous misallocation well, of funds, okay? Because <laughs> if you're investing so much money in building things like a futures, a Bitcoin futures ETF, I get how they'll make money with that one, fine. If you're investing so much money in building this other uh I mean the amount of money being CBDCs to move, and, and right, and CBDCs tokens. moving moving Ethereum from proof of stake to proof of uh, proof of work to proof of stake, all of that thing. Yeah. And when you get to this final point where Bitcoin still comes out on top, what do you do then? I'll you know tell you a mean? story. I'll tell you a story, mm -hmm. right? I have yeah. a, I had a friend that used to work for the banking system. You know right. what they do? What they do? Exactly what you just said. You know that what you're working on is not going to be successful, but you throw so much money at it because you have mm -hmm. something to prove. Right. And when it fails, you just toss it out and you spend the money again because you have the money. Because mm. guess what? You have limited, you have limitless amounts of money. So you yeah. can always keep printing. So you don't think about the resource utilization or waste. You just throw money at it, right? Mm -hmm. And you throw as much money at it. If it fails, you throw more money at something else that you think is going to make it. Mm. And it's just that cycle. The U.S. government does that. Well, well. listen, man. 
Uh, it seems like a losing battle to me because I think the winners are the guys who are able to do the most with the least that they have. Tesla, baby. I mean, Tesla, SpaceX. Write that down in the books because that was one of my <laughs> quotes down there. <laughs> All right. But look, I think this is incredible. I'm looking forward to seeing more things that can happen on the Lightning Network. Are you guys familiar with the Lightning Network? Right? Do you use it? Have you used it before? Are there ideas, that cool ideas that you've seen on the Lightning Network that you would like to share with us? We'd like to see that in the comments. You know, we want to yeah. engage with everyone. Um, but other than this, man, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for subscribing. Uh, it's been yeah. really, it's been, you know, we've been growing, sir. I don't know if you've been seeing yeah, even, I'm, I'm just I'm just putting in work right now, man. Yeah, listen, we gotta man. get this tech education system. Now. I opened I opened the YouTube channel and all the arrows are pointing green, you know. Oh wow! So <laughs> we're doing something right, <laughs> that's for sure. And <laughs> and thanks to you guys because you guys are giving that feedback there. So uh, I think that's absolutely incredible. Double O, any final thoughts before we close this one out? I mean, thanks for watching. Um, the Light and I work. It's really great news for the Bitcoin space. I really yeah. believe that everybody out there should get involved in the community. Uh, do their parts, develop applications on the Lightning Network, and bring mm -hmm. it out there to the general public. We really need it. Absolutely. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, brazen out. Double O out.